Greetings, traveler. You're visiting automotive territory. Over the years, we got used to extremely overpowered electric supercars that accelerate like fighter jets and cost as much. But what about more traditional sports coupes? Is there a chance that the EV industry could produce agile machines for the masses that would be used as comfortable daily drivers and powerful racers on weekend track days? The answer is yes, and we're almost there. In this episode, our channel presents to you a new lineup of awesome electric two doors from the age of tomorrow. So subscribe, ring the bell, and enjoy this lightning fast ride. Caterham Project V A typical Caterham model is a roofless and doorless roadster shaped like an old school racer. The Project V, on the other hand, is the brand's first try at the true two door sports coupe with modern yet minimalist design. The car has a low and long silhouette, gets arching fenders, and rides on staggered 19 and 20 inch wheels, wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Like any other Caterham before it, the Project V prioritizes lightness and weighs just 2,623 pounds, including the drivetrain. The latter is all electric. A 55 kWh battery pack wired to the single rear axle placed electric motor with 268 horses at the peak. Performance parameters of the system sound quite fun. 4.5 seconds 0 to 62, 143 miles per hour and the target range of 250 miles. Caterham promises electrically adjustable steering, enabling three driving modes – normal, sport and sprint. Other important mechanical features of the Project V include all-around disc brakes with performance calipers and a double wishbone suspension at both ends. The cabin of the sports car has a 2 plus 1 layout as standard, but you can opt for 2 plus 2 seating. Maserati Gran Turismo Folgore Despite not carrying the Trofeo moniker, the all-electric version of the new generation Gran Turismo occupies the spot of the flagship performer in the lineup. The two-door shares many components with the Maserati New Age models, like the MC20 and Grikali. It gets the brand's latest exterior styling with its signature grille, elongated headlights, new LED taillights and fresh wheels. The GT Folgore rides on an all-new platform that uses Formula e tech and supports 800V charging. The car features an 83kWh battery arranged in a T-bone configuration. The spec feeds three electric motors, one on the front and two on the rear axle, that produce 761 horses peak and allow for 2.7 seconds 0 to 60. The claimed top speed also reaches astonishing 202 miles per hour. The coupe can recharge at 217 kW and lasts for 330 WLTP miles of driving. For home, Maserati offers several wallbox options, rated from 3 to 22 kW. Lastly, the Trident brand plans to offer the electric Gran Turismo in a single, well-equipped version that promises sustainable cabin materials, 12.3-inch infotainment with wireless smartphone compatibility and a secondary 8.8-inch display. Available features include a head-up display and a 19-speaker audio system tuned by the Italian audio specialist Sonus Faber. Alpha Motors Super Ace Last year, Alpha Motors quietly increased the wheelbase of their upcoming Ace Coupe and also reshuffled the 2023 lineup. A retro-style two-seater coupe will now be offered in three trims – the Ace, the Ace Performance Edition, and the Super Ace. The wildest of the trio, the Super Ace, gets a standard white-body kit, a front lip, black cladding all around, unique round mirrors covered with naked carbon, and a huge rear wing. Underlining the top-of-the-range status are sleek 19-inch CBU three-piece forged wheels provided by Rodeform. The Alpha Super Ace can also be ordered in optional red paintwork. Inside, it takes a less radical approach, bringing classic streamlined panels, subtle wood accents, a very clean dashboard, and a sense of spaciousness provided by huge windows. 
The retro-looking interior is also complemented by a huge infotainment screen in the center, which also serves as the digital driver's instrument cluster. Alpha Motors has yet to provide performance numbers for the Ace lineup, except that the base model is powered by a single electric motor and has a range of over 250 miles once fully charged. MG Cyberster MG can no longer be treated as an obscure player on the British automotive arena. First, they took over the sales of affordable crossovers, then cheap EVs, and now the Chinese-backed enterprise is after the monies of demanding sports car connoisseurs. The production-ready Cyberster is a driver-focused two-seat convertible with an automatic soft-top roof, elegant scissor doors, and stunning magic eye lights front and laser belt rear lighting signature. The Roadster is powered by a duo of electric motors with 528 horsepower, 535 pound-feet of twist, and all-wheel drive. The 77 kWh battery is claimed to store 350 miles of range reserves and contributes to the total weight of around 2 tons or, in the Freedom units, 4,400 pounds. With the acceleration to 60 of 3.2 seconds, it will become the fastest MG to date. The stunning cabin has four screens and is practically a powerful supercomputer on wheels with a Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8155 chip and Unreal Engine 4.0 graphics. The original Cyberster is expected to have a rather acceptable price tag of £55,000, but MG is already planning a release of an even more affordable single-motor rear-wheel drive version with 295 HP, slightly smaller battery, yet still 325 miles of range. Dodge Charger Daytona SRT the next chapter for Dodge muscle car will be fully electric and, unlike the competition, it will not be silent. Previewed by a 2022 concept of the same name, the production version Daytona SRT is on its way to be launched to the public in 2024. Stellantis is currently developing an 800 volt architecture codenamed Banshee that will overcompensate for the lack of a rumble under the hood with superior performance capabilities. The platform will support single rear-wheel drive or tri-motor all-wheel drive configurations, paired with a yet unseen multi-speed transmission. The latter will provide a true driving experience and will create a feeling of distinctive shift points. Performance-wise, expect at least 800 horsepower, 0 to 60 faster than the Demon's 2.3 seconds, and possibly over 200 miles per hour top speed. To make sure the new Charger is not only seen, but is heard on the streets, Dodge will equip it with an actual piped exhaust system, called Fritzonic Chambered Exhaust. It generates a motor sound that is amplified and tuned, resulting in a 126 decibel roar. Support the electric revolution with a like to make sure a gradual adoption of EVs and their decrease in pricing. Let's bring instant torque to the masses. We keep rolling. Alpine A110 at Terneet Alpine has long declared its intention to become an all-electric brand, and their first step in that direction is the unveil of the A110 at Terneet at the French Formula 1 Grand Prix. The prototype celebrated the 60th anniversary of the brand and showcased an application of the latest French EV technology on a sports car. The Alpine A110 Eternit adopts battery tech from the Megane E-Tech crossover with 12 battery modules, which led to a 568 pounds of weight increase. The two-seater, however, managed to remain a paragon of sportiness with a near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution and exceptional driving dynamics. The car comes powered by a single electric motor with an innovative two-speed DCT. The setup returns 242 horses and 221 pound-feet, allowing the Eternit to hit 155 mph, 0-60 takes 4.5 seconds, and the range reserves are claimed to reach 260 miles. This Alpine has a removable roof and uses environmentally friendly materials, like flex, produced by Tertel & Company, based in Normandy. 
The interior now features a new multimedia that uses driver's own tablet as a display, plus a state-of-the-art sound system that consists of 7 speakers and a subwoofer. AMEV Sport 01 At the recent Goodwood Festival of Speed, a Japanese engineering company that specializes in car technologies and internal combustion engines, introduced their first-ever concept vehicle. Although AIM is responsible for the powertrain and all tech in the Sport 01 concept, they asked ex-Nissan chief designer Shiro Nakamura to break away from the norms and give the AIM EV Sport 01 an ultra-sleek look. Nakamura totally avoided sharp or exaggerated surfaces typical of modern supercars. The car features a perforated body-colored grille panel, oval-shaped headlights, flared wheel arches, and a sloping roofline. The retro-inspired coupe also gets striking gullwing doors and 20-inch blacked-out alloy wheels. The low weight of 3,140 pounds is a courtesy of an aluminum multi-tubular frame and abundant use of carbon fiber, both inside and out. AIM used this concept to test their cutting-edge APM200 electric powertrain, which consists of two electric motors combined in a rear axle setup. It delivers 483 horsepower and 546 pound-feet of torque, enabling the electric coupe to sprint from 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. A Barth 500e The iconic Italian hot hatch has undergone a complete electric transformation and became the first Scorpion to have an eco-friendly heart. This two-door beauty can be had in the classic hatch and soft-top convertible bodies with striking paint options. It can be distinguished from a Fiat counterpart by a pronounced and aggressive front grille, broad bumpers and large side skirts, a prominent rear roof spoiler and stylish alloys up to 18 inches in diameter. It features a single front motor with a significant boost of 38 horsepower and 11 pound-feet of torque. The updated specifications now boast 155 horsepower and 173 pound-feet, resulting in a 7 seconds 0 to 16 page time. The new model gets a 42 kWh battery pack expected to deliver approximately 170 miles of range. There are two available trim levels, the standard Abarth 500e and the Turismo. This hot hatch can offer sporty seats with integrated headrests, Techno Preen or Alcantara upholstery, a 3-spoke steering wheel, a 10.25-inch infotainment system, a 7-inch driver's cluster, JBL sound and multiple safety features. Moreover, a robust Abarth sound generator actually makes a motor growl that can rival the sound of many internal combustion engines. Nio Bolt EV The original Lotus Elise is the undying classic of the modern era that is making a comeback once again as an all-electric pocket rocket through a collaboration between a Cambridge startup called Nio Bolt and a British engineering company, Callum. The original member of the design team of the icon, Julian Thompson, returns to the drawing board as a head of design for the model with the inspiration coming from the S1. Now it incorporates modern LED lighting and fresh rear section. The Nightbolt TV is equipped with a relatively small yet highly efficient 35 kWh battery with a tungsten anode, capable of achieving a remarkable 100% charge in less than 6 minutes, which is a new record for the industry. With a range of 155 miles, the vehicle still weighs approximately 1300 kg or 2600 pounds. Additionally, Sei Shivaretti, the CEO of Nibolt, explained that their innovative technology enables constant rapid charging without compromising the longevity of the battery. Rigorous tests confirm up to 2,000 fast charge cycles or 300,000 miles without a significant drop in performance. While the final drivetrain specifications for the Nibolt EV have not been determined, this concept is rumored for production by 2024. Lancia Pura Once iconic Italian brand Lancia is making a comeback after being acquired by Stellantis. Their first Pura concept, which stands for pure and radical,
carefully blends some classic Italian styling from the 70s interior and a totally futuristic front. The unusual face is dominated by a Y-shaped callous light bar and a black nose piece, while the hollow round taillights pay tribute to the iconic Lancia Stratus. The biggest highlight of the concept's exterior is a full glass canopy with a circular roof, which is also a major geometric shape applied inside the cabin. For example, in front of the two individual freestanding armchairs, there is a small round table, while the bottom edge of the massive inclined infotainment panel is also circular. There are round carpets on the floor, and Stellantis pays special attention to sustainability, emphasizing that nearly 70% of the touchable surfaces are made with the eco-sustainable materials. For example, the upholstery for the seats is made of natural wool cloth, while the door panels are covered with the material 50% of which has been obtained from marble dust waste. The car maker has not provided any details of the possible power output, though they did mention that this Manifesto EV concept eyes over 430 miles of range and a charging time of just over 10 minutes. Lexus Electrified Sport The range of Lexus Electrified concepts includes a coupe, a sedan, and SUV models that should be released as production EVs in the upcoming years. The first of them will be the Electrified Sport 2-door that is likely to replace the IC-powered LC500 and arrive by 2025. The model is likely to keep its aerodynamically perfected body and unseemly advanced tech. The design inspiration comes from the iconic LFA sports car, but its V10 heart was swapped with a solid-state battery pack and multiple electric motors. The Lexus Electrified Sport concept is claimed to have 430 miles and 0 to 60 time in the low 2 seconds range. Another interesting feature of the upcoming coupe is the recently teased Toyota EV manual transmission that will have a clutch and gear shifter, allowing for the true manual driving experience. Now that you're done admiring electric sports cars, let us know which model is your top pick for the electric sports car of the year. The comment section is right below the video. Consider checking out our reviews of the new internal combustion sports coupes and supercars through the links in the screen. And make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell. May the torque be with you!